Nation Media had put this article on the front page that said we found oil under KICC. So it's going to be demolished. And then we're I going remember to start. That. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. I took it to my dad. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll need to go to my dad. He's one of those things. Preacher, reverend, yeah. Sindhu is... is... Me, I've seen posters where I'm going to reverend Robert Brale will be in attendance. Yeah. Wait, so uh, who decides? Okay, so how do you become a pastor, reverend, bishop, archbishop? <laughs> Wait, can you imagine me? And then, 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 He's, so there's bro, a video I, of I him walking. I said he's in M-I-A-M-I. Oh, uh, wow. No, he's in <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick Akipatianga na kuanga wapi when all this conversation is going on. Mm. Yeah, of course, no. I understand if they... Uh, no, no. People yeah, but, but you get where the prana comes from. You know, yeah. like, like subliminals. I'm still drawing a blank. Like he's in Compton. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, why, why a lot of like a lot of no. a lot of it's like those guys are saying Kendrick and Kwanga appear come for ten. Then you're like, yeah, I agree. Of... Over twenty six. <laughs> this is the bag of This is the brunch club. Over twenty six. Welcome back to the bag of Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up? My name is Chaxi V. Mastermind. You are main guy V. Lord Chaxi, the brew from Arise around. The amazing masses around. Well, the whole, whole gang is around. Episode one five zero. We are my Chaxi. Yeah. Yeah. So I have um, this is a rap Joseko. Mm-hmm. So has a, a compilation of a few clips of some of the most insane things someone has said during yeah, an interview. interview. <clears throat> so I wanna play those. So the first one. Oh. Damn. Anista, what connected. happened? Are we? Oh, it's don't tell me because ah, sorry, because? I put my phone on airplane mode. You can disconnect. Uh, da, 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 da. Anista, let me try reconnect. Give me a sec. Ah, you're messing perfect. with the wrong Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> you are messing with the right, <laughs> right Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> ah, there we go. So the first mm. one. Nidrana is what I'm so let's go. Core battery, really what your is? If I didn't, may God murder my children. I don't huh? even. I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please <laughs> kill them today, right now, today. <laughs> you did not please start no car battery with your parents. Ooh, if I didn't, may God murder my children. I don't even. I hate that I about that. Bro. How do you even say something like that? Right that's, that is Kevin Gates. Yeah. <laughs> that's the most believable nigga. <laughs> May God murder my, my mother, children. children. I say today, right now. Right now. <laughs> May God murder my children. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> no, regardless, but yeah. how how does your mind go there? You know what I mean? Is that the most extreme shit you can ever <laughs> say? Like, it's so extreme, what? bro. It's like this, the, the way people used to love people in back in the times. Mm. At, yeah, I will murder a thousand horses for you. I'm like, where's Unipati to my <laughs> Which bag like that? <laughs> like, Uko Manini, 1600. Do you, do you see the love in the Bible? I see, yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Like, like David said, Siju, bring me back, Siju, a thousand foreskins or Siju Nini. No. Are you sure that's the Bible? That's the Bible. I, I, you're about to do it, but I know. <laughs> a thousand, but, a thousand, but a thousand four skins is not very hard. Just yeah, yeah. go. Just go to two. Two. The one that I know <laughs> was yeah, the yeah, one yeah. that this babe asked for mm-hmm. John the Baptist head on a silver platter. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, that's believable. In the Bible, the Bible is. That, that's the only one I know. Yeah, four skins, you do. I'm a first I don't. I just. I, it's, it's, it's only because I don't want to have it on my history. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked it up. It's such a private. Oh. You can always delete. It's fine, bro. I'm sure you, you've, 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 delete, you've googled a, a lot of outrageous stuff before, so it's fine. But now you're for me like a pattern. So something that goes. You get TikTok. It's a quite it home circumcision kit. Home title. It's home circumcision kit. What? It's on Instagram, yeah, bro. Hey guys, 
looks like something, something that's a brand man, man, man as a naga would, in, would be an influencer for me. <laughs> get guys, ready with me. Get ready with me. Oh, <laughs> Manasa would circumcise himself. <laughs> Queen of the Song circumcision kit. Manasa is even in the same way. Disclaimer. Yeah. But yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm going to circumcise Shalom. Why would you say that? Shalom, Shalom, yeah, Shalom. Shalom is not circumcised. So I'm going to circumcise Shalom, and I got this home circumcision kit from Oriamo. <laughs> Bluetooth powered. It's Bluetooth powered. By the way, and by the way, it's Bluetooth powered. It's Shalom. It's Shalom. Show me your dick, bro. Nah. Where? <laughs> Speaking of hoodies. <laughs> you know how when you lose your hoodie to your girlfriend? I'll show you how I'm losing it. <laughs> For life. <laughs> Using the Oriamo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> the second. <laughs> All right, I, I think we're, 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 talk, we're talking oh. about some of the most, most insane Outrageous things. things yeah. Yeah. So it's okay for us to be on brand. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the second one. In a bathroom, no homo, we slipping on rock. semen. Huh? <laughs> we but, <laughs> in the bathroom, nigga. We, we flop, got that nigga up out of there, all that shit. You know, this is parts of the story that I don't like to tell, because we don't... <laughs> it's a it's a what I That's it's a brokey. 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 It's Thing is, we don't have the full context of whatever is being discussed. I am the third one. Even with no context. Yeah, so that's 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 if I walk out of here and a nigga come from behind me out the staircase, hang, 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 hang. that's what's supposed to happen. Well, I listen, nigga, in. I don't know what kind of gun that is. No. Yo, yo, I don't know. I don't know. That's a different kind of gun. What kind of gun? And a nigga come from behind me out the staircase. Hang, 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 hang. That's what's supposed to happen. They're shooting niggas. Shooting niggas. They know little nigga. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so this other one is um Ray J lying, bro. He's that just man lying, is a bro. For days. <laughs> so, so this is Ray J. <laughs> I just feel like you're so um, frivolous with your products, man. You're slapping the table. They're flying everywhere. You're tossing the glasses. It, they're unbreakable. Unbreakable? They're Test unbreakable. Test Break them. Step on it right now. No, you step on them. It's your product. You step on them. Go ahead. You're saying it's step on them. I can't do that. You can't. I bet you I can break these. They're unbreakable. Speed. They're not unbreakable. <laughs> Speedy. Don't tell me it's unbreakable. Listen. Don't challenge they, me. Listen. Don't challenge me, Ray. They're unbreakable. Um, listen. Speedy. They're unbreakable. They cannot break. It's impossible. <laughs> and then he was just like care. this. I yeah. just feel like you're so. Uh, yeah, but those glasses were legit. They, they, they could bend and they were whatever. Flexible, they were flexible. Those are so nice. But not, 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 not breakable. Yeah. Yeah, flexible. Yeah, yeah but not breakable. Yeah, but not breakable. Flexible. Yeah. Uh, the next one. Just sexual. Uh -huh. He's different. So if he was not a homosexual, <laughs> you guys say heterosexual. A what? Ahead of the sexual. Uh -huh. So <laughs> if he was ahead of the sexuals, bro, um, I, I'm gonna assume that you ahead of the sexuals and bro ahead of the sexuals too. I'm already ahead of the sexuals. Um, so I'm assuming everybody who hangs with me is ahead of the sexuals, bro. If you're not ahead of these sexuals, then <laughs> if you my friend, bro, you just gonna be real, fo. You ain't. First of all, me being friends with Remo, I would assume you are... What's the opposite of homosexual? Heterosexual. I would assume his ass is a, a homosexual. <laughs> uh -huh. And he's different. So if he was not a... <laughs> Just sexual. <like Joey. laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, next one. There's uh -uh. one more. I'm going to my head over. Perfect. You want one? Sexuals. Okay. Perks it. You want one? Talking about Pakistan's. No. Oh, you don't do perks? No, I don't personally. Uh -huh. No. Um... But I mean, uh, yeah, perk, my motherfucking bag in there. I put a ten them pop perk right quick. Okay, I'm uh, itch right now. Uh, are you gonna make it? Or are you gonna be okay for, for the show, oh, man? Okay. Come on, I ain't no addict. Okay. 
He's basically, I don't know who this nigga is. YSL. I'm a Vanini YSL. So I'm assuming signed to Young Thug. Mm-hmm. But he's, he's doing an interview and talking about how high, how, how high he is on illegal drugs, bro. Mm. It's like someone just like coming here and saying, bro, I'm so high on cocaine. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> 24. <laughs> and then offer, offering it twice. Yeah. Uh, let's see the next mm. one. It's because my dad passed away about a year ago and I had a box of... <laughs> what? What? Nigga, you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? Nigga, <laughs> what's going on, son? I don't even know if I can say this and y'all gonna laugh at me. We're not, not gonna, gonna laugh, laugh at you. I promise you we're not gonna laugh. Mm. When I grew up, right? And I remember... <laughs> No. Oh, this yeah. book came about I spun the nigga around and I put the nigga in the full Nelson because once the shots was going off the two niggas was over there that was down there pulled out the hammer and the nigga right here pulls out the hammer I said I'm dead <laughs> but I had the nigga in the full Nelson so now when these niggas are trying to shoot me I'm aiming this motherfucking nigga to all the hammers. You know what I'm saying? So I must have had the nigga so tight, the nigga swung his body to the side, and that's how my shit was open, and he hit me. Boom, pow! You know what I'm saying? So now I'm down. I'm down, so I guess his man came, and his man took the chain, took the chain off my neck and threw it. And when he threw it, I reached out and I grabbed the chain. I spun the nigga. That, that nigga lied. <laughs> like, but all imagine all your, your, your nanny, yeah. what's his name? Your soldier, soldier boy. boy. Yeah. Shot him in the nose, pow, pow, pow. Shot him in the ass, pow. Like, nigga, come on. Come on. <laughs> There's always that meme of, of all the things that did not happen. This one did not happen. The most. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, you guys want to talk about the Senator's uh, Funa episode? We should. Finally. We should. What's Finally. There? There's a lot of things to say. What? I think this is this is our first viral, proper viral. Because yeah. Abel Mtua yeah. is the most watched currently. Yes. But it grew progressively. Yes. Like, it didn't go viral. Yeah. So this is viral for... Viral. Yeah, yo, bro, like, I'm getting forwarded clips on random yeah. WhatsApp groups. Um, TikTok. This is being discussed, like, in offices. Mm. Um, Like, government guys are discussing the episode. Facts. Uh, oh, yeah. we're trending on Twitter. Yeah. We TikTok. didn't pay anyone to get us trending. <laughs> Twitter, we're just trending TikTok. on Twitter. I think Facebook, I saw about five posts. Yeah. Yeah, but TikTok, that's, Twitter. That's what we've seen. Crazy. That's only what we've seen. Yeah. And the, we, this was such a heavy weekend. True. So that means we're about to go viral again. Because uh, now two. it's midweek. Now, I think from today, guys are probably going to watch it. Yeah. Um, um, Maybe there's a Boda guy who I haven't spoken to in like three years who called me. Hmm? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I need more on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm interested. Me John, me John. Who are you going to call? Like, Johnny. And the only reason I remember him is because he helped me source something that I needed. Real yeah. Quick. Bless him. And then he made me look at his idea. I'm mad. I'm telling you, this is crazy, bro. This is what happens. This is what happens when. Um, when now the pod sort of opens yeah. doors to people who are very like mainstream True. and this is just yeah. the beginning of I don't know man this is crazy bro like <laughs> Nina Kwambia me have been texted by people bro that I've not spoken to in ages in age, mm. who, who are suddenly ages. very proud of me huh? suddenly people who you know never bothered suddenly eh si book a date to come like uh why why do we need to book a date now? <laughs> and of course, and of course, everyone else who feels they have something to say and they want to come on the pod. <laughs> everyone. We just yeah. met someone. They're like, ah, uh, guys, there's a book interview. So we're like, okay, you want to come talk about what? Yeah, but I think it was just being a fan. Of course. He's like, what? I'll come talk about AI, technology. No. Initially, he said, okay, let me think about it. Then I'll send a proposal. By the time we're leaving. Then when you're leaving, he's still there. He's like, okay, so. AI. We'll talk about AI. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to figure it out. This is in a matter of like two minutes. That's fine. Mad. Yeah. No, but this is crazy, bro. So I don't know. This is now what it feels to go viral. Shit. It's like I, when you're looking at it, this is this is two days later, yeah? This yeah. is two days later, yeah. and we're gonna be at hundred K in, in a few by the time hours. you're done recording now, it's gonna yeah. be at hundred K. Yeah. And this is two days. Two days, yeah. Yes. Two days hundred K by the way. Yeah. It's Monday. never happened. That is crazy. It's never okay. happened. Predictions when we be- beginning of April, right? <clears throat> How many views is it gonna have end of April? Alright. Just give it a guess. Um 
Wait, Mkuruzi says it's Mifka Ngapi. Mkuruzi? Mkuruzi almost. Um, if I'm not wrong. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in just a quick second. Wait, yes. Well, it has I'd say probably half a million, to be half honest. Half a million. Mas- uh, 670. 670. 672,493. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mkuru now uh-huh. is 333K. Okay, I say half a million. Half a million half by a end million. of April. I, you, the fact that Kwanza Peter Salasia was there tweeting his heart out. Someone said that, that that's like, a pseudo account, no? It was a pseudo account. It is no, his it account. Oh, it is. It is his oh. account. But yo, everyone was talking about it. Okay, me, I'm, I'm guessing 470 by end of April. 70. Yeah. So... End of April. Can okay. I change mine to 676? <laughs> one, one, three, You know how crazy it's going to be if that's the number. <clears throat> no, first thing that you watch, I'll buy 10 laptops. <laughs> <laughs> Every day when I'm like, that's the way it's a goal. That's the way it's a goal. Snowballs yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. But yo, mm. guys, can, we have a new Facebook page, guys. Yeah. Kindly follow us. Yeah. I told you, to, let me see how many followers you have on Facebook. But I know we have more. Anyway, we... Please don't say. <laughs> <laughs> so on Facebook, <laughs> hold up. Your page you have more so, followers than Instagram. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> we have 122 followers. Bro, Loki has like 98 followers. Bro. Loki 98, bro. We need to post Loki. Okay, yeah. now I'll repost your Instagram. How do you have Loki? Like... Imagine if we post your love for Pungwe. That would be so crazy. Please follow my homie Loki. I'm on a 98, 96. Bad. Anyway, so we have we, um, our Facebook page is Mike Chuck Podcast. Yeah. We soon will be able to monetize on Facebook beginning mm-hmm. June. Mm-hmm. I think as a pilot program, so it makes sense to have our numbers up. Yeah. Kindly get our numbers up. Do you know how I know the pod is doing very well? Mm-hmm. Right. The pod, the pod's pages have overtaken our personal pages in yeah. terms of followership. That's TikTok, how you know the pod dude, is doing well. TikTok has just took on now in one thousand. No. Yes. Bruh, I checked today. The last I checked, you were twenty five k. What are you talking? Dang. I'm telling you. When did you check? I can't. Honestly, I'm not too sure. But last I checked, now that you were twenty thousand. TikTok, twenty five point one at. Damn. Yeah, twenty five point one on TikTok. Uh, that's so, how you know the pod is grown. So you may back it up. Twitter angle. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Only challenge. So, you can tweet every day. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. this season is here, bro. I'm so excited, bro. Go rap. <laughs> so, Kendrick had some things to say. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Future and Drake finally dropped their joint album, and there's a record in there that is called Like That. Um, let me get the lyrics of what Kendrick said, right? I saw Le- Le- LeBron was rapping to them. I saw mm. a video. Mm. And Drake liked it. Hey, like you know, my investigators are going to be If it popped up on my feed, what am I supposed to do? No, so I saw someone screenshot it and said, Drake liked the video of LeBron to Junior. It's like to Kendrick. Oof. But what do you <laughs> Let's go. It's, it's yeah. bars anyway. So this is what Kendrick had to say, bro. This niggas talking out of, out of their necks, don't pull no coffin out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. Miss Jell. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> I'm way too paranoid. Okay. Um, Don't pull. Okay, for a bit of context, when is the last time Kendrick dropped? Album? Five, six years? Mm. Ah, album. Yeah. It's been five, when six the album years. Album dropped in 22. Uh, uh, Mr. Morale? Yes, album dropped in 22. Oh, what yeah. do you mean five, six oh. years? Oh, sorry. 2022 actually, yes. right? But it feels like a long time. True, because okay. he dropped and went he before off. That. Before then, <clears throat> let's see. Was it like, what was the name of the other album? To Pimper Butterfly. Yeah. yeah. No. Damn. Damn, oh. yes. Mm. Uh, that was 2017. Mm. Oof. And then to Pimper Butterfly was 2015. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay, so anyway. The um, the biggest conversation has, not the biggest conversation. Mm-hmm. I'd say Drake is probably, in terms of numbers and followership, is probably the biggest hip-hop. Not even a hip-hop icon anymore. Really just a musician in general, most. right? Mm-hmm. But also, Kendrick puts out... No, Drake puts out a lot of music. Not really, plus mm. he's everywhere. 
He'll drop but a song tomorrow. Is in that's what I mean. Like he puts out a lot of music. Yeah. Like he really just be <laughs> he's, he's yeah, out here, which is fine. Yeah. They were shooting a video before she went into labor. Oh yeah, and I wouldn't even categorize him as a hip hop artist anymore. Anymore, yeah. yeah. He's just a pop a pop star, mm. right? Yeah. But then the thing is, Drake is everywhere yeah. and he puts out a lot of music, which mm. is fine. I'm not saying it's a problem. It's very different with Kendrick. Mm. Kendrick drops an, an album disappears. disappears until God knows when. Mm. Then pops again, drops an album. Yeah. Um, the joint album with Call that people have been talking Oof. about never happened. I don't think it's even in 2013. Happened. Remember when Control yeah. dropped? Yeah. yeah, took shots at almost everybody. Right? <laughs> Went back into hiding. <laughs> Went back into hiding. <laughs> no one responded <laughs> properly. <laughs> people responded like like Soldier Boy responded. Who cares about himself? <laughs> who, <laughs> who gives a fuck what Soldier Boy got to say? Anyway, back. So for context. Mm-hmm. Uh, first person shooter dropped. Mm-hmm. Remember when uh, yeah. Cole was talking about Big Three? Yeah. yeah. But also, genuinely speaking, Cole took shots at Kendrick. Mm-hmm. We'll get into that. Okay. We did. Okay. Then before Kendrick, let's go to Cole. I got you. This is what Cole said on first person shooter, right? Niggas so thirsty to put me in beef, dissecting my words and start looking too deep. I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth. I let it rock because I love the mystique. I still want to get a song with YB. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. You know, if I diss you, I'd make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your caller ID. If I diss you, I'd make sure you That's know I hit bar. you like I'm on your caller ID. There's buzz. There's buzz but it's, it's getting somewhere, bro. It still builds up, right? <clears throat> I'm naming the album The Fall Off. It's pretty ironic because ain't no fall off for me. Still in this bitch getting bigger. They're waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot who's Kendrick? Mm-hmm. Is it Aubrey who's Drake? Mm-hmm. Is it me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. Damn. Already he's distanced himself from the big yeah, three. Like so I'm like, oh, we are the big three, but, but I'm the Muhammad the Ali, right? <coughs> okay. Continues. Mm-hmm. Hi, yeah, yeah, hi, uh, Muhammad Ali. The one that they call when shit ain't connecting no more. Feel like I got a job in IT. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake. The Spider- Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake. You guys remember the Spider-Man? Oof, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so now what happened to K-Dot? There we go. Cindy, mm, but yeah. then, before that, mm-hmm. he distanced, he took him out first. Took all of them, took them out. Took them out. Yeah. But, but now, now the Spider-Man like, okay, meme Drake and, uh, is me and to me and Drake. Oh, it, it keeps going. It. Mm-hmm. It's like we recruited your homies to be demon deacons. We got them attending your wake. Hate how the game got away from the bars, man. This shit like a prison escape. Everybody step as well. Fuck it. Then everybody breakfast. I know, cooler. Everybody step us, but everyone <coughs> like yo. Huh? No, yeah. no. Keep going. Everyone, every, everybody step us. Hey, little minor. Well, <laughs> fuck it. Then everybody breakfast. And I'm about to clear up my plates. Keeps going. When I show up, it's motion picture blockbuster. Anyway, when I show up, it's motion picture blockbuster. The goat with a golden pen, the top toucher. The spot rusher sprayed uh, this whole shit up, the crop duster. Not rusher, but apply pressure. To your cranium, calls auto, um, automatic when I'm aiming with the boy in the status, a stadium nigger. Um, Wait, where is the Kendrick? I feel like there was another Kendrick. Bro. Ah! We said it. Everybody steppers. What's the Kendrick last Mr. album? Mr. Morale and the big steppers. Everybody steppers. Yeah. Well, fuck it. Then everybody, everybody breakfast. I'm about to clear up my plate. plate. He took shots at K-Dot. You want to say that? Yeah, yeah, like, he took shots at everyone but K-Dot. He took shots at my RPG. So <laughs> like, <laughs> like Alim, hey. Alim, Alim Wakakando. <laughs> It's like shooting at your face with a bazooka. Like. Yeah. yeah. But also, bro, he, what did he say? And he, he called said, him out by name. Just know if I diss you, I'd make sure you know that what, 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 I hit you like, like I'm on a caller ID. ID. Damn. We the big, uh, you know, we, 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 we the big three, like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Mm. So this is Kendrick. This nigga's talking about my neck. So there's a bit of context. You know? mm-hmm. Don't uh, pull no coffin out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. When all this conversation is going on, mm-hmm. of course, I understand if they. Uh, no, no. Yeah, but, but you get what where the paranoia comes from. You know, yeah. like like subliminals. I'm still drawing a blank. Like he's in Compton. No. 
Why, why would a lot of, be like, a lot of, no. a lot of, it's like those guys of, are saying, Kendrick and Kwanga appear come for yeah. 10, then you're like, yeah, I agree. Of, a lot of, it's, like, it's, it's, it's like Sade, <laughs> the way she dropped, she, she disappears after Meto Amziki for like okay. a decade, evil. Yeah. It's like saying, like, we don't hear back from Kendrick, he's not on mm. social media, yeah. Yeah. he doesn't put out music frequently, yeah. but then there's too many subliminals in between when he's silent. Yeah. Oh, so okay. the paranoia is, if it's subliminals, then mm. like, if you're not coming at me, directly, directly oh, don't okay. do it. So I'm like, if there's subliminals, I'm too paranoid. Like, I'm, I'm mm. going to react to something. Yeah. yeah. Does it make sense now? No, it does. Um, <laughs> I can't be said Compton. Hey, 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 so did him. The money, power, respect. Respect. The last one is better. What is the last one? Ishima. Respect. respect. <laughs> Say it's a lot of goofies with a check. Mm. Is that Who's a making drink? more money? Mm. Who's out here is it seemingly... Is that a drink? That's what I mean. That's a shorter drink. I mean, uh, I hope this uh, sentiment, symbolic, uh, my, tep- my uh, temperament bipolar, I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. Mm. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up but cannot be legit. No 40 water. You know who 40 is? 40 is Drake's yeah. producer. Yeah. Mm. Tell him, <laughs> Aya. <laughs> Aya. Ooh, now it gets interesting. Remember, he's talked about being paranoid, right? Yeah. So, fuck Nick Dissing. First person shooter. Mm-hmm. That's the song we just came from reading lyrics. Mm-hmm. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck crap. This me, mele mel, if I had to, I don't know what that is. Go mm-hmm. to tease with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. At this who? Ebu just spell the name you just said. Uh, two T's. No, this something, mele, who? This mele mel. You know who that is? Isn't that not Drake's boy, Molly Mol? Mm, Mol- that's Drake's Malimol. friend, yes. Okay, so it's not Malimol. Okay. So far, crap this Malimol if I had to. Go two teas with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If you walk around with that stick, it ain't under 3K. Because remember, on control, under, under 3K is one of the guys on the, leg on the side. Like some of those ones you will never touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then he went to the Big Sean's and the J. Mm. Coles and whatnot. I think I won't stop. I, I I think I want to drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfucker, the three big the mother motherfuck the big three nigger. It's just big me. Ish. You remember? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigger Prince outlived Mike Jack. Nigger Bam for all your dogs getting buried. What's Drake's latest album? For all the dogs, that's a care with all these nines. He gone see pet cemetery, nigga. Bam, that's a care with all these nines. He will see pet cemetery because mm. it's for all the dogs getting by. <laughs> 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 no. but dot any day excited bro any who, day who you got can't how many, you, how many you papers mean? do you think <laughs> drake has gone through <laughs> yeah. someone on twitter i'm so some writers i guess even home. lebron is drake's boy but he's rapping <laughs> to kdot that should tell you everything yeah, he just supports everyone mm. so there's a guy okay, called his boss. boogeyman let's, let's, let's be honest yeah, yeah, go with Jacob. Mm. so there's a there's a guy called boogeyman we we'll get into that. So, mm-hmm. Boogeyman posted a picture of Drake on Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, writing on a notepad, <laughs> then captioned, So many pussies in your family. Your auntie's the man now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Drake is in the lab responding, <laughs> Too many pussies in your family. Your auntie's the man now. <laughs> Yo, do you know how deep that is? But that is a mm. guy. See, Kendrick has, yeah. an, uh, has an uncle who's a transgender. Yeah. Oh, wow. That mm, is yeah. a bloody yeah. insult. <laughs> hey, I had yes. no clue, bro. If you listen to Mr. Moral, the Big Steppers, yeah, there's a song where he's talking about. Oh yeah, yes, bro. It's is it that the issues? But, no, no, wait. Not I'll tell you the name. Issues. Hey, uh, this uh, is um, um, mom, 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 guy. It's called Father Time. Yes. It's called Father Time, not that issue. So it's called Father Time. Deep. Actually, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. Shit. Actually, he talks about that. I need to listen. And that way, literally, is saying you should listen to the yeah, album today. Yeah, in a long time. Yeah. Oh my is it God. That too loud? Do you know, this is one of my favorite. 
G. Are we okay? Are we too loud? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. okay. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite albums ever made. Mm-hmm. Mr. Oh. Morale and the Big Steppers. Ever made. One of my favorite albums ever made. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Aye. Good Kid, Mad City. I, 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 didn't, say, I didn't say favorite. Did. I said it's one of my favorite. Like, this is among those albums I can listen to anytime. Over, okay, Even okay. when I'm not sure what I want to listen to, I can play this album. Hey. Yeah. For me, Good Kid, Mad City. Same. I love, I love Good Kid as well. Day. I love Good Kid so much. Same. 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 Me, I'm with Cole. I've, there's a day I tweeted Cole is my favorite rapper. Because okay. I remember K-Dot. Cole was the first album. K-Dot. I ever K-Dot. K-Dot. I just told you. But I think the, no one is going to respond to K-Dot. Yeah. Yeah. Nanisawa. J. Cole will. There's no album. Even Drake. But, J- Drake will but maybe a line. A short. You think so? Not a proper with song. With half of what he song. just said. Okay. So there's. I don't know if this is true. Let me play I... this. Let me let me play this because I have it somewhere. I don't know if, if this is official. It could be an official, so don't. Um, okay. So Drake. Response just leaked. I, I, I doubt. I do. But because it, it sounds is it nice. Is it on my reputable mm-hmm. page? Um, at five on. I won't go. Mm-hmm. But, but let me play it for the sake because it sounds... Hey, come and see Waldstar. I could make it with me. I know. Because you know... Like... Of course it's not. Oh, yeah. They're probably Let's using AI sound. Mm. My character now. Yeah, that's AI. Yeah. Mm. But I, I don't want to hear... If but the writing is proper. I don't know where it's going. Yeah. You know, someone just wrote. <laughs> so you are with Cole. You think Cole is going to respond? He, they will. Does, when is in, his album coming? It's dropping yeah, soon. Yeah, he's soon. He hasn't. He hasn't given okay. out dates yet. That's how I know. Call. That's how I feel. Call mm. would respond just because I know he's in album mode. But I like, feel like he'll have things to say. Drake like, Drake, hey, Drake had dropped single. Trust at Ajibu. But Drake responded on Instagram with a caption. Mm. I'm like, we just need a song, bro. But also remember they're touring, bro. You know, tours yeah, are so hectic. Promo. Bro. That's true. No, not even promo, bro. You have how many steps? You just know, those moving, are guys yeah. who are on the road all the time. <laughs> You can imagine being on the road from a performance. You need to rest up because you have another performance the same day. And they're, they're talking about arenas. 80k hey, people. But when it's beef season at that after time. <laughs> you have to. I'm just yeah. saying it's different when you're on, on the road mm. to respond properly as opposed to when you, you're just yeah, chilling. Yeah, time. True. So you anyway. songwriters. What about Drake or Kokamp? <laughs> Molly Mo, 40. That's, that's when you, Uncle Luke. But let me ask you guys. You. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's fair for Big Sean to actually include himself as part of the big four. Honestly. Big I, four? Yeah. I don't think so. Bro. No. Because I, I think know. even he dropped a diss and no one even cares about yeah. it. I'd say I like Sean, but I don't really place Sean among top four, bro. Top four? Top, four. top ten, maybe. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> even top ten. For, for me, I'd put him in my ten. I, I, lo- I love Big Because now if I you talk about all time, I'm now. All time, I'd put. I'd, what? Yes, I would time. put Big Sean. Not all time, like right now, right now. Okay. Like in this, in this, this season of yeah. all time. Give me top ten of your yeah. top ten of all time, because now I'm very <laughs> concerned. What do you Are mean? We this say, season? Wait, uh-huh. when we say all time, we talk about like every rapper who's ever hit yeah, the scene. Yeah, yeah. I said it's top ten for you. Imagine I'd put Big Sean. What? I really love Big Sean. <laughs> I know, but top ten. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> I'd put Big Sean. Who else is I'll on that put, list? Um, Thingy, Tupac. Honestly, I'm not the biggest. Big, Big Smalls fan. fan. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I, I wouldn't even front. Uh-huh. Andre 3000. Uh-huh. Um, uh, da, 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 K-Dot. Uh-huh. Drake in and out. No, Honestly, I'm not the biggest Hove fan, so I wouldn't uh-huh. even put Hove yeah. on my list. Um, Big Boy. Uh-huh. Um, so Big I'd Boy! I'd put Big Boy. I know, you know Big Boy. Uh-huh. Andre 3000. Outcast. Oh, Outcast yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Boy. Um, oh my God. Eminem. Lil Wayne. Uh, ha, 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 ha. There's someone else I'm missing. Yeah, I know Nas. Pardon? No, Nas. Nas. I'm not the biggest fan. To She's definitely honest. not an East Coast person. Mm. Think about it. No, 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 no Biggie. No Nas. No. Who's say in New York? Yeah. When the I'm a Bronx. Who's here in the Bronx? Yeah. When the Oklahoma lights mink. Yeah. Um, Snoop. I, li- I like Snoop. Thank you. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your top 10, bro. Officially. No, if Fuck I'm, your top 10, bro. But it's not at in order, order. But those... I know it's not in order, but... Fuck your top 10. Man, if I don't care about yeah, the order. Those, enough, yeah. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Those are the rappers that I can actually stomach. Honestly, Hov... Have you seen the video of Lil Wayne reacting to top 5 rappers? Gucci? Gucci man was there. I can see Gucci. Shout out my nigga Gucci. I live in the Zappanza. Gucci, who? Gucci made the list over Eminem. I love Eminem. Shout out my nigga Gucci. 
Hey. Ah. Anyway, before uh, I want to talk Didi. Mm-hmm. Since we're talking uh, music and top rappers and whatnot, yeah. um, I want to bring it home slightly. Mandy Kabaya on uh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, to music historians in Kenya, could someone explain where the obsession with fixing everyone in different genres started? And why? It was important to use jo- genres to decide on which artists were important and who weren't. But it has been a phenomenon in every industry. No, but her question is specific. Someone want, She wants to know the origin. Of course, it started somewhere. I don't think it just happened by chance. No, I'm just saying it's a phenomenon that's always been there. So saying that we break down the origin. No, I'm not saying crazy. it's new. She, mm. And that's why she didn't say it's new. Yeah. Her question was, origin. could someone explain the obsession mm. with fixing everyone in different genres? She's not said it's new. I'm not saying it's new. I'm not saying it's new. I'm not saying it's new. Because it's something that we someone, cannot explain. Even someone, as we found so I'm, it. I'm going to read. The only reason I brought it up is because someone had an interesting perspective. Mm-hmm. Which was? Island curator. Uh, said it's not a new phenomenon. The music industry is first and foremost a business Mm -hmm. and the artist is a product. Mm -hmm. In business, you need to categorize your products to create structure to sell your product. However, in Kenya, I think it's more to do with classism and social class... um, Hold up. uh, Social class... This... Social class... Anyway... Yeah, I make a take on because I'm reading screenshots from Nairobi Gossip. The, 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 uh, the, he continues, the dynamics of classism and social class divide in Kenya's music industry shape patterns of consumption, production, and distribution, mm-hmm. influencing which artists and genres receive mainstream recognition and support. Because you've always been like, like, okay, why is Karun not mainstream mm. with That's the music she makes? True. You know what I mean? Yeah. How is Zina not mainstream? It's true. And then how is um Ulem Semanya lead the dishes do girlfriend Daka Kenda Matanga Kafana Nini? Who? What was the name of that guy Brown who cared and supported? No. Who? There's a song about rejection. The nigga Taka Taka. How is that mainstream? How is what to watch me darati? How is that better than what Karun makes, bro? You know what I mean? Anyway. So I li- this is this specifically I really like. So mm-hmm. the, the, let me read the dynamics of classism in Kenya is what the uh, blah 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 determines production distribution, influencing which artists and genres receive mainstream recognition. He goes in Kenya, we like to box things based on social class. That's why one girl is a body and another is a Kenyaji, even though they have similar <laughs> features. I will use an example of New Nairobi and Gengeton. Mm-hmm. You guys know what New Nairobi yeah. is, mm-hmm. and Gengeton. Each embodies its own set of characteristics and audience demographics. New Nairobi, characterized by its contemporary global influences and appeals to mid-class audiences. Mm -hmm. This genre tends to receive more recognition and support from higher socioeconomic classes Mm -hmm. who have greater access to resources such as technology, education, and cultural capital. New Nairobi artists may enjoy more visibility and opportunities for publishing and Distribution. Mm-hmm. Facts. This means their music reaches broader audiences. You saw this this last year when Colors to the featured Kenyan artists. Mm-hmm. They were predominantly known Nairobi True. artists. Mm-hmm. The Spotify deals and features on international playlists are mainly awarded to those that fit that style of click. Facts. Let me say the on the other hand, Gengeton has a massive following primarily among lower-income demographics mm-hmm. and marginalized communities. True. Gengeton offers faces stigmatization and to its explicit content and association with perceived societal vices. True. Mm-hmm. Even though these themes are prevalent in other genres of music, it's a common attack used to flog Gengeton music. But it's, it's, That's it's, very it's, true. It's in all music. Yeah, it's even so very true. Uh, yeah, he uh-huh. continues, this perception alongside being viewed as ghetto prevents the artists in this genre from accessing the privileges afforded to new Nairobi artists mm-hmm. as they don't fit in. Very true. The economic disparity between social class influence, access to resources necessary for music production and promotion, artists from privileged backgrounds may have greater financial backing and industry connections. Conversely, lastly, artists from disadvantaged <laughs> background face barriers to accessing recording studios, mm. equipment, and professional networks, limiting the ability to compete in the industry. So yeah, in Kenya, your genre not only defines what kind of product you are mm. as an artist, but also what social class you appeal to and the opportunities afforded to you because of that. Of course, there will always be outliners, uh, but that is mostly the case. Of course, mm. there's exceptions. We can always name exceptions. You know? mm. But generally speaking... That was fucked. Right? That was very well put No bars. <laughs> There's nothing else to But do you feel like, is it easier for like the Gengeton side to cross over to this new audience hey. than it um, is for 
commercially yeah. you think so kuna msali complain not even commercially just audience audience wise i saw that comment chaks is always drinking an empty cup na mpaka kan tag ndo ni make sure nimeona bro ni me refill <laughs> no, I'm not even saying commercially, just yeah. new audience. It's easier. Yeah. It's Still. easier for Gengeton to cross to New Nairobi than yeah. Nairobi to, to cross to Gengeton. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why you go out New Nairobi guys will be singing um a couple of Gengeton songs. Kuma, yeah. no, you know, uh, but, but, but not vice versa. Not vice mm, versa. True. I get what you mean. Yeah. Loving to Nuko mnaimbanga tungo mazao kadinali. Mm. Loving to Nuko mnaimbanga tungo mazao kadinali. I know what you mean. Yeah. 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 Yes, them they've crossed over. But name 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 no Nairobi artists who's on there like who in the Kobe in yeah. Kin- yeah it's because even hard. culturally it's it's harder for them to relate. Yeah. Yeah. Like ukimba tu sju me and my whip sju ni ni. But also <laughs> counting the stacks which ones. <laughs> I know what you mean. Everything looks foreign. True. Let's talk the fun stuff. Did did it, bro? Is that so funny? Is it though? It's not funny. That's not funny. But I said fun. I didn't oh, say funny. Oh, fun. I said let's talk the fun stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. The I fun goes. Said, the fun. Funny. No, okay. no, no. Fun. Mm-hmm. Did did it. Mm. Ah, much? bro, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. If I was in a, what up? If I was in LA for any reason, I was like, "Hey, there's a did the party I'm pulling up." Of bro. course. Of course I'd have you. pulled up. Yeah. We know you. It begins there. We know you. So, and when you get to the gate, number you know, cameras, phones, everything here. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And yes, but 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 it's 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 common in Hollywood. Yeah. We hear all the time. So all the people yeah. parties, you Would you go NDS? for a second party? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> but you see now. After also, the first one gets weird. After the first one gets weird. But you, you see, we need to talk about the le- levels of access. Yeah. Those parties were not weird to everyone who was there. Yeah. True. They were only weird to specific people who had more access. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, the parties, um, you know, like uh, Black Coffee talks about the yeah. day he played at Diddy Party, the proper 2,000 people in the backyard, mm. Uko is just it's normal vibes, yeah. you know. If anything happened, it's just anything that could happen anywhere. Mm. Mm. Then the inner circle people are the yeah. guys no, who get uh, access to the freak ups. Yeah. They, they're not freak? They're no- freak outs. Yes. What they call freak well, yeah. your master bedroom. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> so you can tell me come upstairs. You can tell me everyone who went to a Didi party yeah. access the master bedroom. Facts. So it has to be the inner circle who had who are, who are privy yeah. to the freak out. What's yeah. going on? But everyone else, Mimi I would definitely go to a Didi party <laughs> if I had access to it. Now would I go now of course not of course because not, yeah. I know this information now. True. But everyone talks about Didi parties bro. Is it not a new thing? Yeah. How many go online of um there's the the one that is the, the most popular one is the um, what's the name of the actor musician comedian that I really like. The guy was too talented man. Django. Yeah. Oh, no. Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox. Fox, yes. You've seen the clip yeah. where he talks about the yeah. Didi parties, right? Yeah. And how he was surprised at how much Didi spends on his parties yeah. compared yeah. to how much he, he spends on his parties. He's done about KFC. Yet. <laughs> Jamie Foxx and listen my book kept forget <laughs> no and packaged it nicely wedding. into tins <laughs> spread on the table so it looks like a nice spread yeah he spent like 50k <laughs> yeah for a party that did spend a million dollars he's yeah. mad yeah <laughs> so yeah so um so what happened latest mm-hmm. development is i think we've covered before when the accusations yeah. came out yeah. i think the latest de- latest development is the raid yeah yes. okay in all so, his houses homeland those, security all his houses that means those guys have been trailing you for 99 years but question, and they're not mm-hmm. raiding me like they have yeah. evidence but my question is mm-hmm. what exactly was homeland security doing at Didi's house because there's clearly no um uh, um what is it called warrant for arrest he's mm-hmm. not been arrested But you know no, where the claims have gotten it's there's, there's sexual assault, there's G trafficking. Yeah, they kill just like that, yeah. I think it's gotten to the red areas where like they need to They need to re- yeah, read so, yeah, yeah, so, to find find some evidence before they can come snatch you. Okay, cuz cuz yeah. there's no arrest for there's no, 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 no warrant, warrant for arrest, arrest yet, yes. right? But he's MIA. No, he's not MIA. No, he's, in, uh, he's in Miami. He's, so there's bro, a video I, I of him walking. I said he's walking. in M-I-A-M-I. Oh, wow. No, he's in M-I-A-M-I. Kuri kama ni araka. Ako kopso na na chinga kei dot. No, no. He's not, he's not, like, he's not M-I-A. He's, yeah. he's Ako too. Yeah. Um, but of course, when the raid happened, and because he was not in the house, but his kids were, yeah. because they were in cuffs, eh, did you guys see the video, bro? But yeah, that drone you, shot. Did you see that house? That man is very. What's him saying, Paul? Why, if he knew these guys were gonna, because of course, of course he, he knew. You leave yeah. your kids there. It like depends. who? Who? Me, I'd send them to their mothers. And okay, now mother, who is story to? Now that's now that the houses. But also, but yeah, oh, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. The no, mother's house. But okay. also, but also, 
as much as you may be privy to this information, you yeah. don't want it to look too suspicious. Mm. So, so you, you let leave some your things, kids to be calm. Because the kids, they are not here for the kids. That's not the point. That's still traumatic anyway. Bro, the I, kids are already traumatized. What is that? Bro, no, the kids no, are too no, traumatized. No, 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 no amount of therapy bro. will no ever heal their therapy, kids. Bro. Yeah. No, but still, that's your, resp- your, your first bro. responsibility as a parent to take care of your children. How do you duck and leave? They were, like you said, they were not coming to arrest him, isn't mm. it? So, if so why leave? Why stick up your kids? He didn't stick those kids that up. That is sticking regardless up your kids. Of, regardless Maybe. of how you look at it, those kids have been caught up in this mess and they don't have a way out of it. Mm. And maybe, maybe, also big maybe, he didn't know they were coming. He True. knew. Big maybe. That's how I'm saying. Big, big maybe, maybe. Well. Big maybe. You know, I'm so. convinced he knew. <laughs> is this man took, money here, took yeah, two here, different mm. tips. No, TMZ said mm. his private jet took two trips, I don't know to which house, and it feels like they were clearing some stuff before he finally landed in Miami. First Maybe he was first. making a stopover. First things first. Yeah. At your house twice. No, TMZ is auntie, just first things appear. first. Let's mm-hmm. be clear. Mm. The private jet made a trip. Dido was not on that private jet. Mm. That's one. Secondly, the, whatever, uh, whatever happened so how in that are you jet in Miami? is not public information. Mm. He was in Miami at the airport, but not, not traveling. Also, mm-hmm. but wasn't he in LA a few hours ago? Because he was at a party. There's a video where he was at some... Re- but how long is the something? flight, bro? He flies oh. private. Chaxi. They read all his homes, so there's no excuse that he... How are you in Miami? But you were in LA, LA a few hours ago. What's the problem of with that? He flew which there. means like saying, you, which means you knew you, you were tipped that they were no, going to come like and saying, he left. It's like no. saying ah, David was ready. He was in Nairobi a few hours ago. Of course, he flew. <laughs> to, he, he was, but he left. Me, my yes. biggest question no. would be, mm-hmm. um, what left in that jet? Because it was not DD. Mm. Then what? What did the jet go to do? Because this is not a deal. clear evidence. It's not where, where, where did the information? Happened of Lemaraco. So sure about it. Ah, let me tell you. Did you clear evidence? This yeah. man is so guilty. Yeah, he's so guilty. <laughs> And yeah. like every fiber I, in my bone is just like he did it. Everything on TMZ is gossip. Yeah. Forget TMZ. If there was any like Forget shred of TMZ. evidence that was confirmed, it would have been on other major but also, publications. The, the reason why it's gossip is that a few the same same day later on, mm. TMZ still published pictures of mm. did in front of the jet with cops. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, you guys saw the pictures. Yeah, he was on his jet at the airport with cops. The last thing I saw was you him walking, walking at an airport. Yeah, so there's that. that then the later, the the that's now when the, the guys are speculating it is because he oh. was not in the house. It is at the airport and a helper. Then TMZ posted or like, no, he was actually at the, at the airport with cops and the jet went to the Caribbean, somewhere mm. in the Caribbean islands. So, but also some guys are saying conspiracy theory is mm-hmm. that uh, Homeland Security came to clear evidence because there's too many powerful people involved. Didn't they say he he's been recording everyone? Yeah, with hidden cameras. Hidden, hidden cameras. And Nani, um, <laughs> what's his name? Fifty Cent said he's buying all the footage. I said, if you have it, more power to Fifty. <laughs> fifty said, "I'm ah, buying." Yeah, yeah, me, and he said, "And he's ready to fifty. Pay. That's what I'm saying. This man, Whatever Fifty, amount. has always mm. kept his story straight yeah. for days. Um, says he's poor, and I agree. Yeah. yeah, and given that, you know how. 50, how powerful he is in those realms as well. Exactly. For yeah. him to still not out and be a whistleblower, mm. guess how deep it goes. Because <laughs> yeah. 50, first of all, he's a gangster. Before the music, before the, the big name in the whatever, Hollywood, he'll settle your scores with come on, come up to Pizzo. Like it's not that he's someone who'll send he can send lawyers and he can send goons. Yeah. But he's still PMS. No, but if he doesn't send, he, he's not a yeah. goon sender. I'm Remember, like the beef with after, DJ Khaled? 50 is just an online. He's a he troll? Just online. No, no, no. He's just a troll. There's this beef that with DJ Khaled. He pulled up to his mom's house. To do what? What do you mean? He went to DJ Khaled's mom's house. I can pick a video so your mom stays. He went inside, took a video with his mom. Yeah, it was a whole thing. You need to hear that. Are you for That's real? what yes. I'm saying. Gangster, like he looks like he can intimidate you. But why would you go to the man? Bro. The I, I, I you know. Mean, 50 cent I get it, special. but I'm just like fifty cent. <laughs> fifty cent special. Him. His Instagram, and then he tags all his brands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's always promoting all his brands. <laughs> 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 I told you, a man's a sexual offender. Hashtag G-Unit Brands. <laughs> <laughs> Go la, back. La, 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 cremu, la, 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 la. That's Konya or something. Yo. <laughs> but this is literally to a nine. Yeah. He pulled up. I want DJ Khaled. I told you. <laughs> oh, bro. And workplace. Even workplace. Yeah. The mom. <laughs> 50, oh, shit. If he doesn't yeah. people, yeah. he goes by himself. Yeah. I think there's a lot of fishy things that definitely did was up yeah. to. I mean, we wait to get credible information. Because mm-hmm. um, also the problem with the DD situation is as soon as he settled out of court with Casey, now it opened doors for anyone to claim yep. anything. True. 
That's the only problem, bro. So you don't, okay, I understand why you'd want to settle so it doesn't, and we discussed this, it doesn't yeah. have to go to court. Then you have, because now if it goes to court, a lot of this will be public yes. information, yeah. you know, because the, and then now you have to deal with a lot of things. So I settle, it doesn't mm-hmm. have to go to court, we hash the thing. Yeah. But now the problem with that, bro, as soon as you settle for all that money, cans, anyone. Can of anyone. Yeah. So that, that's the, the biggest problem I have with the DD situation is that it's so hard not to validate what's true and what's, what's not. Because yeah. also, you know the trend in Hollywood, there's yeah. too much false information. Yeah. Too much false information. I know but, the nigga was definitely up to... No, he's guilty. Yeah, he's guilty of a lot of you things. Know, like but right also, now, I'm sure... Even the crimes have outweighed the... the the nasty things he did with the rappers. Yeah. Now that's not even shocking anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's now the Mace, Mace has always said it. Yeah. Um, I think it was just recently on his pod. Mm-hmm. He said him is just happy he got away. And he was like, mm-hmm. There's so many things he would have loved to say, but he's just he's going to stay silent because all these guys who like I think he was trying to insinuate, like mm-hmm. guys who've caught heat for Didi, like in a shine, Biggie. He says he could have he could have been one of those people. Yeah. If he just because there's bodies involved, yes, mm. but he's just lucky that he got away in time. You know, this that's thing, what I'm saying. He guilty uh-huh. as hell. It yeah. started her her funny at you. Oh, you were like, oh, and then as we were like, you and Asha, like confessions. <laughs> and then now you're reading it, you're like, the li- do you see um somebody breaking down the lyrics to um his verse on I Need a Girl Part One. Mm-hmm. He's like, until you became, at you, you weren't even my girl, we were like brothers. <laughs> Nigga, what the hell would you say that? <laughs> but since you saw, you come up with some boys, one of the bros on them. Yeah, Demiako. At all night, we would play fight under covers with your nigga. Hey. He's guilty. Yeah. Hashtag. Bruh. Now, and then there's conversations about how being involved. Allegations as let me that one it. thingy yeah. the Kathy White situation. I don't even know because mm. I've just seen like I saw a video of Fifty Cent saying Hov has been too silent mm. and he's not picking calls. Naku fanya ile bashi yake. Ile 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 Kevin Hart you pay na call. Iko kitu. Kevin Hart yenda ku motivate watu na uongo. Na uongo. I'm so happy I'm that drunk who just has fun. Ninge kona ita come here my brother let me tell you something. Nah bro. Nah. <laughs> now, I'm a speech. I'm not going to do that too. How do you think? They, how do you think this ends? Uh, me, someone's going to jail. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'll kill you. Did you be bunkmates, bro? Hmm. I'm here for it. I don't know. Let's I don't see. think they would both hate it. Is that bit? So if 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 it's true, he recorded all these powerful people. Mm-hmm. Then he's no, it's gonna, it's gonna be like Jeffrey Epstein all together. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. take the Epstein. You so he'll will disappear. be finished. So he'll disappear. Nivo. But also, is it could it be true that Homeland Security went to clear evidence in no. the name of raid? No, conspiracy is like, not no. <laughs> It's not too far fetched. No. no, you know, sometimes it's you read something and you're like, hmm, <laughs> maybe, hmm. yeah, make it interesting. Clear for evidence, me. <laughs> maybe to free the other guys who are supposedly involved, but it's all for Didi to take the heat. I promise you, yeah. Yeah. After all this time, there's no whistleblower who's come forward. So you can imagine how up it goes then. No, you'll just say something. You should literally just be like Jeffrey Epstein. You'll say, you have what? You have what? You'll clear that evidence. You take the fall. And before you even think of opening your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? There's, a, there's a, um, um, a YouTuber who popped on my homepage. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can find it. La, uh, last, last night. Uh, After no. watching Wilding Out. After watching, <laughs> 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 Bruh, that video, that video of Didi, uh, <laughs> Nakena, <laughs> YouTube, yeah, 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 mic check, well, you know, okay, dad, I'm a nasty, 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 I'm a um, it's like 34 minutes. So you, no, 32 minutes. You go find it. His name is uh, Doji Corrado. Mm-hmm. It, it says, I wish I never went to this party. Mm-hmm. But it talks about, um, he, finished, he finished high school. Mm-hmm. He was very excited. This is when Vines was a big deal. So yeah. he was super excited. Um, a lot of um, people who are creating content in Vines at the time mm-hmm. mo- were moving to LA. Mm-hmm. LA I watched well, that video. Okay. Watched yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have. Um, then um, he meets they randomly meet so of course they're in LA a bunch of just young guys are trying to make it yeah. so this is at the time when content creation is beginning to become a thing yeah. in the sense that it's beginning to make commercial sense mm. like guys are beginning to make money the King Buck era is on my time yes mm. King Buck mm. and this young fly yeah. them days where they were starting mm. out where they were starting out um, so then they get approached by this guy who invites them to a party 
Um, and then he says, I think, he, yeah, he, I think he picks like a number, phone number. Yeah. And then he says he'll send an invite. But then a few days later, he no, gets but an they invite did, on mail. Yeah, no, no, no. They got an invite on the, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, he, mm-hmm. they only gave him their phone number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then they got an official invite on mail. So they're so like, how did you get my yeah, address? Get address? Anyway. So, mm-hmm. oh, when you say mail, mean like on email. Not email, no, like mail, ha- yeah. house, home okay. mail, like home poster. Mail, home mail, poster, yeah. Damn. Um, I mean, anyway, so it's like top secret, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, he's not, he's excited. So he's telling some of his homies. One of his homies is like, don't, don't dare. This I can't even tell you on phone and you tell you in person. Mm. Then he's like, do not go, go to, to that, that party. party. Anyway, to him, mm-hmm. everyone who's been to that party that he knows blew up after. Like mm-hmm. became very successful. True. So he's like, hey man, Mimi... I have I'm I'm so broke because they, they're not making money. Yeah. They just saved up kidog. They're really famous but broke. Yeah. So yes. Everyone knows you're making it. Yes. Because yeah. Vines is not making money. It's like mm-hmm. podcasting in Kenya. We are, we are not making money, bro. <laughs> Facts. Yet. Mm-hmm. Um, Big yet. Yeah, yet. Big yet. In caps. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um he doesn't heed the advice. So it's him and his homie, and mm-hmm. he's trying to sell his homie. So him used to be the, the guy behind the scenes, mm-hmm. the homie used to be on front of the camera. So he tries um to Speak to the homie about it. The homie is like, nah, bro, come on. This is the biggest yeah. break. Anyway, even if we don't like the party, it's we can the connections. Leave. Okay. The people will meet there. You know, they get in, um, nice crib, pull up. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they're given masks. Their phones are taken and then they sign an NDA. So everyone is there with a mask and the mask. Then there's a tag. You have a name tag, but it's not a real name. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everyone is masked. But it's like, uh, when you're masked with people that you've seen on TV or you know for a while, mm-hmm. sometimes it's possible to be like, ah, that's Nani. Ah, that's yeah, Abel Mutua. That's Nani. Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like, it's like, genuinely, BN. I'll be like, it's BN. Ata wewe. Ata on the maza. Ata wewe. <laughs> Can you imagine me at <laughs> never mask really? And then and then Nikona Tana Nikona Tuna tag. Lucky Jack of Adon Yo. Jaxi. Jaxi. Hey. Anyway. It's giving story. me those vibes for those crazy movies where rich people go. I'm sure the masks With are the crazy. hooded things. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 Carry on. yeah. Anyway, so long story short, this house, there's a bunch of rooms. Mm-hmm. And then there's uh, there's instructions in every room. Mm-hmm. And then you follow those instructions until the bell chimes. And then you move to room mm-hmm. number two. Sure. Yeah. So each room was decked out very differently. Before they go to room six... Mm-hmm. Um, there was the everyone and and also everyone knew what to do because there were different things to do in different rooms, mm. including one room where everyone just became very flatty and touchy and whatnot. And this guy is now seventeen or nineteen, I think seventeen. Yeah, either yeah. seventeen or nineteen. Um, so the, before the last room, because he was on the queue, guys, you'd see guys put their hand on a book mm. and then say some things and then they'd go oh, take out their masks and go into the room. So when he was like two people ahead, then he realized those books were the Bible, the Quran, and some other book. But ideally, mm-hmm. so if you're a Christian, you, they'd pick the Bible, okay. you put a name on the Bible, and then they sort of make you denounce God. So they make you feel like you're God. And then guys would go in. So when he got there, he told the guy, like, is it okay if I skipped this step? Mm-hmm. Then um, they made him turn around and they kicked him out of the party. Mm-hmm. So they kicked him out of the party. He mm-hmm. went around and tried to peep to see what's happening in that room. Mm-hmm. He didn't say what happened, but he said he saw some of the most outrageous things that he can't even speak about. Mm. Anyway, that happens. Um, they drop him home, blah, blah, blah. Um, then we had things start happening. So to him, he says in hindsight, um, at the time, nothing, hap- nothing bad happened to him because they didn't think he saw what happened in that room because they turned mm. him back. Mm. And they believe whatever he saw in the four or five rooms it was not, not enough here to, for you know, him to be like, mm. he but, to but he did. Um, but they did see because surveillance, of course, they have, they have cameras in the house. Yeah. And also, part of what you saw in that room is big cameras. So everything that was happening was being recorded. Anyway, so weird things started happening. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, he'd come back home and there's fruits in the fridge. And I know you didn't buy. That he didn't leave. Yeah. Just? Uh, yeah, like, for instance, he'd come back home and um, the door, because his, his, his door is one of those doors you have sort of Push use a bit of force to lock, mm-hmm. but now it's very smooth. Nothing. It's been fixed. Yeah, like he'd come back. Um, he'd come back from it's shopping. Like he'd go somewhere. park in the parking mall, uh-huh. then come back and his light, uh, his uh, maybe one side indicator is on, and he showed it was not on. So the day he was like, oh shit, 
Mm-hmm. Someone is actually yeah, someone really is new. actually saying something to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is the day when his gear for the car had been changed. He had an old gear and he found a new gear. <laughs> <the car>. Oof. <laughs> anyway. That's how end up in <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you go watch it out. Go, you go I'd check have it to out. Move in it, someone. No, but so that just reminded me of the Diddy freakouts. Another thing, um, there's this. He's a very very popular entertainment journalist. I've forgotten his name. So he says at the time when he had just gotten into the industry. Him and Didi, like, you know, they were good friends, but not mm-hmm. very close. Because, you know, of course, when you're meeting yeah. celebrities in Inini, so he asked Didi to give his nephew um, an internship. So mm-hmm. Didi was like, yeah, yeah, bring him. So he's like, in three months, he's like, you can imagine this man has worked and worked his ass off. He's like, in three months, mm-hmm. the kind of lifestyle his nephew was living was absolutely insane. Like, it's private jet, yeah, city after city, Nini, Nini. Yeah. Four months in, the nephew just came back one day, and the uncle is like, um, What's going on? No, Kwanza Didi called this guy, Akamambe, hey, your nephew is, is so good, he's very efficient, nini, nini. boom. Ne- literally the next month, mm-hmm. the nephew comes back, he's like, what happens? Like, I quit. He's like, who quits an internship with Didi? <laughs> he's like, I don't want to talk about it. And mm-hmm. it took this boy a whole year to heal or to... To speak. And he said that Didi was like, if you want this internship to continue, lazima ugawe. Like ugawe nana pati Didi? Hey. So that nigga is fucking... And that's what I'm telling you. This nigga is yeah. guilty as hell. So that's what I was saying. It was it was fishy at the beginning with the rumors, but now it's getting cringe and cringe. The more information is surfacing. Yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. This documentary that they just yeah. did. He's also on that documentary. And you're like, did he, like when are you going to beat allegations? Where Doing what? With kids? I yes. So, okay. I, funny and crazy thing, I remember that episode. Mm. So this episode, there's a boy who's refused to get up. So Didi's like, you know, they Nicole, get up, like, like I make a taku amka. Okay. Get your head out of the gutter. Anyway, <laughs> so this I'm boy for clarification too has refused to wake who, up. Who's clarification? <laughs> <laughs> you always lump us into this. They big know what he has. <laughs> Mas, so uh, Mas, I this love boy you, no, has refused to go <laughs> and make a taku amka. So they tried. Did. Uh, sorry, Didi's uh-huh. in the back. Uh-huh. Um, so they tell him like, hey, our friend Amikata. What can we do? He's like, give him this helicopter. Ati, mm-hmm. take this helicopter ati, and put it in his pants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They take it, they put it in his pants. So they're like, okay. Like, where? like on the legs? Yeah, in the crotch. Like, put it in his pants. <laughs> on the crotch? Inside his pants on and the crotch. And these are kids. Bro, like 10, 11 year old boys put it in his crotch. So they put it. So they come back. They're like, okay, we put it. He goes, at, you know, here's the surprise. So he removes the remote control. He goes and washes it. So this helicopter starts going. Yeah. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, this man is anyway. Anyway, anyway. I'm going to me links. Can you I'll send it to you. Oh, me, I just into TMZ links and and yeah. like sexual assault. Give me a second. Because me, the only one, the, the, the only... babies one. I, I don't know if some of them are too extreme. At SG, they they do the bad things hold to the kids. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The kids it's just scary one. for me. I never the kids is through. the most yeah. scary one. Me, yeah. the only one I I saw was exhibit the rapper talking about the day he was invited to a Didi party. They went mm-hmm. to a party and mm-hmm. then they went to a certain club in Miami, mm-hmm. and then as soon as he walked in, he was like, eh, "This was a weird party." There was like. Dude's making out on one corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, then as he's moving to the bar, there's just another dude who's butt cheek naked. Just send the video. Just play it. Mm-hmm. Which video? Um, yeah, you. Yeah, the helicopter. Just send it to the group. Play it. But now for context. Mm. So you will put it on the... Whatever. No, but I'm like for Spotify, guys. Wait, back. You are, but now when you watch it, you'll understand. That's what I want to Unless it's yeah. edited in. Because if it's more audio, video, then video. you play it on the pod. <laughs> yeah. it's, video. it's more. It's a video. I'm saying if it's if it's more audio, like things you can listen. Yes, you can hear it. Let's see. So you see now, now how do I explain this? You can what are we gonna do? I don't know. Uh, plus you explain what you know, in situations like this, yes. what would I, I always ask myself Again? what would P Diddy do? Oh, what would P Diddy do? No, I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. Oh, okay. <laughs> they can't stop your lips like someone. Hey, Diddy? Yeah. Yes, What's up? We can't wake up Shane. You try a symbol? Which is something that yep. was written. <laughs> what about sour milk? Didn't work. What about sour milk? Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. <laughs> Put it down his pants. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. 
go, they open his belt and put it down his... Lost it! Spirit! Didn't work. He's still asleep. Try this. <laughs> Shall I? By all means. So much dark symbolism in that. Oh. This dude is a creep. Pro Max. But see, <laughs> Nickelodeon had like another expose done, Juzi. Yeah, that's what I'm talking okay. about. So this was also featured on Because this the feels expose. it's a TV show, so it was written, it was discussed, yeah. it was it was edited. Rehearsed, it was Yeah, like yes, that, was Josh, that was then Josh it was and Jake. Mm. And it went on live TV. And I remember watching this episode, Imagi. I remember. At the time, what were you thinking? Was, was it funny? I was so small. So it was yeah. funny, to be honest. Okay. Because I'm like 9, 10. So this is very funny to me. So now is when I'm like, what the hell was that? That is crazy. Anyway, well, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how this ends, you know. Mm. And I, I hope, I hope, I, I hope we just get to know the truth. You and see, that the problem is, there. of course... It's not a lie. There's questions to be answered. Yeah. Secondly, if it's already being discovered up and it's like this complicated at the beginning, the ending will be very orchestrated. Like the mm. truth will never get to us, but also the ending, the justice that we are hoping for we or, might not will be never it. be. Mm. Hopefully, will. But the way this game is being chesed, it will never get there. Like the victims will never... Keeping all those people silent means For it's all going those up, up, up. Yeah. Kabisa, it's too many people. Yeah. Too many people involved. And everyone is saying, like, I can't speak much, I can't say anything. I can't but also, I can't do that. how do you say much? Because there needs to be a legal case in court. Yeah. And then now maybe guys you can, can speak. Can yeah. speak. You know, because now speaking and saying what? Because mm. also, I'm, a, I'm assuming even people who know exactly what was going on may not want to say anything of now. Course. Just in case of the tragedy anyway. Mm. You know, and, and mm. just in case you're clear. But every all those clips of, hey, I went to a Didi party, it was crazy. They're all looking sus right now. Yeah. After the game. After LeBron. <laughs> And I saw guys that you guys are deleting their tweets. It, like anything about DD, you guys are deleting. Yeah, of course you have, you have but again, I, like not everyone who went had access to yes. whatever was happening. So mm -hmm. it's okay for you to be like, oh shit, that was such a lit party. Because I'm thinking if you're if you're mm -hmm. you did a party and you've literally met a, the who's and the who's, that's already a lit party. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If Lil John is the one playing then next <laughs> Jay-Z comes out, like, of course that's a lit party. Yeah. You just have access to people you'd never find in one space. That's mm -hmm. a lit party already. Now, the guys we need to know are the guys who... Uh, uh, there's Stevie J's. The, ah! the, the guys who were in the bedrooms, in the Facts. master bedroom. You know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. Mick Mill has a lot to say, I think. Watch out. Hey, shout out to Mick Mill. Watch out to Mick Mill. Leave Mick Mill He already alone. started saying so much. <laughs> I think Sayal is your Yeah, I think so. Because he's been silent. How many Andrew Schultz are in not saying you're gay. <laughs> but yeah. you're not Being good at proving it. Being better than a Maltese cat. <laughs> that was funny. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, man stole 10k from his girlfriend to place a bet, wins 100 million and gives her money back. Now she wants 40 million. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how does it go? Split money. The split money. Yes. You split it. You pesa zako azijaishinda. But umeshinda na my friend you will cut that check. Okay. Iska mara as logic pesa zako zijaishinda. Pesa ni pesa tu. No. Ni pesa ya na kwanza uli let's say that you are a thief. So if you stole my money if we balance it 50 50 it's if if the debt didn't go through if the debt didn't go through would you give me 5k? Yes. By the way, I stole I like that. We split the loss. I like that. So, okay, Sawa, I stole your 10K, Sawa. I didn't make any money. Can we split? <laughs> Can we split the loss? I give you 5K. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's the cops. When you move easy. But now you want 40 million. How do you yes, arrive at 40 million? Yes, because you told me that. Pesa Zakwa is Jai Shinda. That is my argument. Me, best I can do is give you 12% interest. Hey, Wongo. Kurudisha 1120. 11,200. And then now she wants 40 years. I'd like to know the logic. So you take 60%, give me 40%. Before we fight for them, is this in Uganda? This is a brunch. No, she's deserving. It's 100 million dollars. It's 100 million dollars. She's very deserving. It's dollars. It's not Kenyan shillings. You want 100 million dollars. And now she wants 40 million dollars. Run the check. Run the thing. Run the record. We're stealing 10K. But even this nigga, why did you say you stole the 10K? Just... Just do the most. Just give, just give her a million. Yeah, you don't have to say yeah. it's all. 
Mm-mm. But anyway, when you when you have hundred million dollars, I, I think you care less. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you live in bro. Yeah, you want to You want to go now? You want to go now? You know? You like me? 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 You know what I mean? Hundred million dollars. You know, you know a bit of. Me, I just say you just snitch. I can just go back and put ten k in your purse. Honestly, I'm not even going to do that. Mm. <laughs> or like, hey babe, I borrowed some money from no, your, don't even from your, that. what do you call it, your Mpesa? <laughs> I borrowed your money from your Mpesa app, <laughs> and then <laughs> that, that's a nice way to say I stole your money. Yeah, I borrowed your money I from your borrowed. Mpesa. I borrowed. I just didn't tell you, but I borrowed. <laughs> and then now I've I've returned it. Mm-hmm. I wanted to start a business, it went lost. I lost all the money, but I got a loan from my friends to pay. I love Uji Fini. Sasa ukonani mi lakini you live like a pauper. Sasa si apana si unamu test. Si DJ Mo alto mbi alazmo pele kete bro sambu ishi si jiko. Kwa beti sita before mbi yu. So depending on how you will tell me uh, how you're gonna yeah. pay back your friend, take this money pay him back. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. ah, you I just won forty million. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini ukiniambia wao best yako utamlipaje? Nilikwambia ujui. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Utaniona tu nimeendelea na private jet. Even even that nani, even that pastor who has suits and talking nani. Who? And he's a host, he hosts gigs. He's a pastor. Um the one was sick for covid. We covered that story brally. You don't remember when he was sick for covid? We covered the story. We are still here. We covered the story when he was sick for covid. Kwanza wewe you had all the tea. Is that pastor a motivational speaker? Yeah, he does both. He preaches as well. Where? Yeah. Isn't he a pastor? He's a motivational speaker. No, he's a pastor. He's just a Christian. No. But he's a motivational speaker. Yeah, right. Si ana tangu Reverend Burale. Na na. Ako make up the book work bishop. Unajua unaweza jipatia hizi titles. Let me see. Rob his name is Robert Burale. the things you guys make me founder such. naked truth and men of valor i told you he's a motivation minister yeah. of the gospel and thought leader yeah actor father host yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a host on energy mm-hmm. for real <laughs> yeah, <I see. laughs> I'm I'm a yeah he's a he's a he's one of those things preacher reverend yeah sindu is, is me i've seen posters where i mean the reverend robert brale will be in attendance yeah Wait, so uh, who decides okay so how do you become a pastor reverend bishop archbishop you know some major Wait bishop so is, is I know bishop for me to wake up tomorrow and call myself reverend yeah but to gender shule no which school bishop is i know, so I know is, what, what i know is bishop is when you've opened a certain number of um campuses of your church mm. yeah bro he has so many posters yeah. for sure of of gonna rev yeah No, in structured religions, the PCAs and the SEKs is going to come on a structure. That's what I'm saying. So when you Branches have how many you Pardon? Like how many a number of branches. You can go branch ya kanisa. So you can go to the kanisa yangu moja tu says. Kama say says to fungue mic check ka 6, unaweza jiita bishop. Okay. Ah, so now you are bishop. You know, excuse me, I'm going to junior pastor, senior pastor. Yes. Hey, okay. Like in here, if we can pull a crowd, do any pastor. It's true, I'm a politician. Actually, people who are just funny and they know how to talk. Yeah. Stand up comedians like that guy is very easy the pastor was yeah. a stand up comedian but man kush man kush i don't think he's a comedian he's just I, funny yeah, he, oh, then yeah. they put him on churchill you know because he was just funny um <laughs> nani so in line with the stealing 10k mm-hmm. uh uh checkmate sent this see jamila his name you're a stepfather you break up with your mom does she have a right to sue? you're a stepfather you break up with, with your mom. mom with, with the, the mom, mom. Oh. Does she have a right to sue you for child support since you've been providing for them prior when you're together? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Those niggas don't got my DNA. Why, why am I paying? But like if if you are, you know like in some states some are legally. Yeah, you if, have to. If you were like together together, what channel like like must stay like married mm, or like put, if you automatically put on child support. I feel like they should sue you for child support if you legally adopted the kids. Ah if you said this will be my responsibility moving forward. Yeah. Okay true. And then you guys break up sour. And then you're like oops. <laughs> Got to go. Yeah. For any bro, sick of serious. For the bus. I'm this only existed as long as we were together, you know. <laughs> But this is insane bro. Can you imagine genuinely being sued for child support? Would for you, kids that are not for yours. Kids that are not yours. Yeah. Crazy. Asama eh ule ni budaya tu bro. So it's like three white. When you're together three with my mom you said you call you daddy. Ni vote. Eh. Would you ever step up? 
and do what? Would you be the man? <laughs> would you ever be the man who stepped up? I mean, if um, mm-hmm. it, it depends on on how we broke up. Because if you broke up and nearly we can't even see eye to eye. No, I mean. Where too much to invest? Because when last month we Aye. You know, mama, we will be a ten k. When do invest? When do invest? Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I think it depends. If it's someone maybe I've stayed with for a while, mm. uh, I think the most I'd do I'd probably just be present and find an investment that I, that uh, that I don't have to do anything for and mm. just keep all that money so you don't have to bother me anymore. Like I'll just buy you an apartment. <laughs> you know, like an, yeah. a, an apartment. You collect all the rent. Don't don't ever call me. <laughs> you know, you're sorted. Like I do such a thing. Yeah. Because I can imagine. One, if you're speaking tr- uh, through lawyers, Oof. and have every month, every month you have to talk about back and forth of Akib, that's mm. too much, bro. No, no, I mean, it's costly. That. So I'll find an investment. I'll buy you stocks. Like I'll just find a way in which you can make mm. you can make that money, and mm. you just never have to talk to me. What is it called? In the then bank? you're fine. I'm like a standing order. I'm a standing order from the mm. bank. You never, you never have to call me. If you need to call someone, speak to my lawyers. Ishe. But luckily for me, mm. it's never gonna get there. Mm. How about you, who you're about to get married and divorced? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Mariah, in the next 10 years, Mariah will be married, divorced. <laughs> we'll still be doing work check. Like Someone stepping and up. And shall be here daddy number two. <laughs> hey, never. Never. Go through, no, God forbid. At 40, at 40, Mariah will be a motivational speaker. <laughs> two failed marriages, but I'm still here. <laughs> you know those ones? Yeah, are, <laughs> <laughs> the ones who start their speeches with, I made this mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Ah, never. Uh, hey. How long have we been rolling? An hour? I think we're good. An hour 20. An hour 20? Damn. Okay. Have you seen? We can do oh, yeah. another five. I think we're good. Mm. We can do a five. We can do a five. Yeah. So to I am a... okay, we can talk about um thingy. Um because those brand shitter, bro. Wow, what a send off. <sighs> Me, I think. Aye, living... that was no Mm-mm. we're living in a very dystopian world. Honestly. Cause... Let me tell you, bro. there was so much nonsense happening in yeah. those videos. <sighs> I know. I've, seen, I'm too, is... I've, seen, I've never seen a video where everyone is like, the, I've never. Welcome to the real world. Yes. Yeah. Bro, so, those some, kids. Some, at, some, at some point, rich people will start buying privacy back. Mm. Mm. The thing is, you know, if it if it was, um, if a lot of that was, you know, um, people your age, mm-hmm. I'd be so surprised. But young kids, that's their world, bro. No. I'm telling you, that's, that's their world. That's the world they grew up That's in. their world. Every, well, one, everything is content to them. Everything. everything. Everything is content. Like today, I saw some leaked video of him being cleaned in the mortuary. I'm like, why because someone in God's name they can would get you that leak video. that? Yeah. Why would you even take that in the first place? Because don't people like Edgar Barry and the rest buy, buy yeah. such stuff? No? Somebody they pay for content, no? in the mortuary. They do. They like do. if you have very exclusive content, they pay for yes. it, right? But it was none of them. It was just some random page that leaks that video. No, that's, that's, that's like that random page. Said, everything is content. Everything is content. Like how you, it's very how you surprised? How you surprised that um uh, that guys went to a burial and posted and and made it um content? Mm. When we live in the world where people document themselves giving birth, mm. everything is content. Why do you draw the line? Humanity needs to be restored yeah. immediately. Bro, welcome. Even the Forex guys drove their colorful cars to the funeral to go and talk. Yes. I, even, I saw Salasia was there. I'm like, Salasia was there. When you're on this other end, you can tell that. Stephen I told you, politicians yeah. love crowds. Yeah. They love crowds. 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 That's why I'm going to be a black. I'm going to be a black. I'm going to be a black. Those who can't handle their liquor. I'm going to be a black. That guy. I can't wait to do the last one. Me, I think they're going to be a full time. I can't wait to do the last one. But I'll come with 15 hard questions on climate change. What is, what is the effect you need to get that from Sifuna? Where... What is that? What is that? What is that? Where would I go and get you? Where would I go and get you? You talk about every every, every three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but I didn't I didn't get surprised. I saw the videos, but anyway, all in all, because we're talking about yeah. love and hate when she was alive. What a yeah. send off, man! You know, it's crazy for like what people, a send off. The people who woke up that day dressed up, they don't know this guy. They were just going for a burial. Yeah. Yeah. Am I from TikTok? Ni post ni liko kwa burial le shira. So and, it didn't, vibe and it didn't help that it uh, was just a drive away from Nairobi. It was mm. just um, thicker. Yeah. Was it thicker? Yeah. The video no, that I killed me was this was. guy who was on the sunroof waving at people. 
Yo, what's up with that dude, bro? Like, does dead? he apply lipstick or what's up with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> and he hired a Jiwagon. Yes. He hired a Jiwagon. Bro, Starbrook <laughs> Badendo is waving like a politician. Like a political like, yeah. 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 figure. You haven't seen the guy? <laughs> I know so who you're talking about. That guy's Instagram is creepy as hell, bro. Why? Does he apply lipstick? What's up with, I the, think the with filter. his lips, bro? It's a filter. In the filter. And that's the filter he likes. But he's the, guy, he's the guy who helped raise the money. No. No, it's not that guy. A different one. His mannerism is a bit weird. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember his name, but Bab- I'm sure. But Baba T is G Not Baba T, Baba T is the one No, this one is Tizi and King Tizi. Oh, there's two of them. Yes. Yeah. That's his father, I'm a Baba Tizi. <laughs> Baba T is somebody else. That's somebody completely different. <laughs> Tizi is the one who was He's on the orphan, roof bro. waving like a He's politician. Orphan, yeah. Me and Ajay, this whole thing just a reboot my algorithm on, on TikTok. Yeah. Two you days? Know, I can't see anything. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you what I send off. It was very... And the kids made sure that they send a message. Mm. Yeah. And that's why they raised over 10 million. Imagine without that politicians. That, that yeah. has never happened. As I'm telling you, bro, in the bigger, in the bigger scheme, that's maybe, a maybe, you, maybe you don't understand it. It's yeah. a revolution. But you can't ignore it because there's just a way they move that's and it's different. okay because you can't expect our world to be the same as their yeah, world. That's true. You know, we need different, like the same thing they're saying, mm-hmm. the, the tools we needed at 19, are not the same mm. tools they needed at 19. True. The yeah, things that are our problems at 19 uh-huh. are not even problems for them. True. They are figured out. So, to me, they just sent a, a, a very strong message. Yeah. The revolution. And luckily, those are, some of them are checkmates, so. Maybe when I'm not I'll try and get 10 million. But you can get 10 million to buy equipment. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else you want to talk about? No. Did you see the, the video, T24 story? Yeah. <laughs> so, basically... Ma, oh, the person who posted the story, they told me, Martin, Martin, who? I'm trying to post the post. I'm trying to post the editors. Like, they structured K24, so it must have been seen by a couple of people before it went up. So, K24 yeah, posted, not... Nigerian musician Davido detained at JKIA after 18 million Kenyan shilling cocaine haul found in his private jets. Hmm. Then Davido responded a few minutes ago. Mm. Uh, says setting records straight on false arrest reports. Anyway, so K24 thought this was cool. Mm. This was an April Fool's. Farm. Hey, hey. Farm. Farm. <laughs> farm. As an official statement, mm. it has come to my attention that false reports regarding an arrest are uh, circulated online on April 1st, which has <laughs> since led uh, to a, uh, whatever of calls. I want mm. to assure my fans that these reports are entirely untrue. I successfully completed my scheduled shows in Uganda and Kenya and have since returned home to Nigeria. I'd also like to note that I have never been arrested by anyone in any country for any crime in the world. Mm -hmm. Not my home Nigeria, my home America, or any other hundreds of countries I've made home throughout my career. I find the fabrication of allegations of such international international crimes extremely responsible Mm -hmm. regardless of the light of April Fool's. And my lawyer is seeking uh, legal recourse against the media parties responsible for generating this misinformation. Thank you for your continued support. Our blessings are from God. I love you all. Hey, I'm going to deal with 30 billion (laughs) Zadavido. This nigga has money for days, bro. (laughs) And K24 doesn't make any money anymore. Doesn't even pay its employees on time. They don't even pay their employees on time. Mm. So it's about so a rumor that... So, a public apology. Ah, he David Otambi, I want 45 billboards in three countries. Okay, if you want to talk about it, I'll Oh, that's fire. Can you imagine that you're here? I want 45 billboards in 45 countries. <laughs> Bro, that would be so smart. I'm like, I'm I'll, I'll, settle that and we're good. Yes. Stack it up, but I want to make you spend money. <laughs> I mean, got to and sorry, Davido. K24. <laughs> <laughs> we were the fools. And then this stream, April, I mean, I'll write the album. copy. Same time there. You had to go to the album. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Because I'd imagine you know, guys were saying already traveling with a Nigerian passport is, of course, not for him. But it's already difficult. I think he's a, no, he's American. He's, he's, he's American, American one. passport. Because yeah. yeah. you know the Nigerian passport, bro. But I'd imagine everyone on his crew, because he travels with Ambogi. Yes, I'm sure a lot of them have yeah. Nigerian passports. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a, he's a globally touring artist. Mm. So you can imagine how busy he's always on the Your name yeah. is next to cocaine. How can you just say, for, when did you think it's just cocaine, a job? Yeah. Summer, it's April Fool's. It's cocaine. It, you know, anything goes. <laughs> the one that bombarded me was the airline that said tickets were 10 bob and guys thought it was a prank. And it was true. Mm. That's fire. Mm. I fuck with that. That was fire. Mm. Kitambo, I used to, you know me, the concept of April Fool was so crazy. I, I came about it when I was a kid and then Nation Media had put this article on the front page that said we found oil under KICC. So it's going to be demolished. And then we're going to start. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. I took it to my dad. 
I was so happy. <laughs> I think I'll niangalia kama 20 mm. mbali kwa maisha. So much to talk about. Come on, take me out. Pesa ya college ya tatu iko. Hii ndio ile ile tweet ya hii ndio kile kile tumeanga kuvuka barabara. Ndio hiyo. Si hata alisema ati unatumia kichwa kama roundabout ya damu. Look for Huh. The major tweets on our Twitter then read the, See what's a dumb the, 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 the quoted replies. Mm. Okay. And then me I'm like Sadam he's like ati utauliza au la Sadam. <laughs> you ask for yourself to. So Sadam you know you can send me a voice note I could play it. <laughs> If you sit before we record major yes, send please. me a voice note. I'll I'll play it. Hmm. Anyway, Guys, no before we finish Aki please just allow me to give this shout out because I promised oh, I'd yeah. do it. Yeah. Please. So there is this artist his name is Chris Art. He did some amazing amazing portrait of mine and he's a mad checkmate. That shit is sick as far as far. The only the only, this, like, yes. the, only the only thing is you don't have He gave me mad boobs though. Boobs I'm, I'm not I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm really not mad. Your this boobs is, uh, are not this big, but look at this titanium. Sick. <laughs> like this is so sick. Jesus Bro. This is bananas. Thank you, Post thank modern. you. Black girl magic. That's your hashtag. Literally, all my things. Uh, Forbes modern, yeah. Forbes love the beautiful Mariah. God's favorite child. God's favorite. But this is so sick. This is crazy. You, you have to frame this. I must. Wait, can you have this on the wall when you have it on studio? I Finally? think we oh, could. That would be fire. We could do that. I know, and you remember the last painting that we received? Mm-hmm. I want to crop out the moss bits and film it. <laughs> I said, please, please do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to know a rabbi and I'm going to know a rabbi. But, yeah, honestly, thank you so much. And this is a call out to Mamito. Mamito, I'm going to tell you a lot. There's a lot of people that is pending. So, yeah, get it. See, I feel like it's just easier... He can get it to you and then you can find Mamito. No, no. But this man Mamito talks, so yeah. I'll, I mean. I'll, I'll holler at her. Because I, I don't think you're going to send Mamito's number. No, he made sure that Nili call out Mamito like she picks her thing back. Oh, so yeah. he, Mamito she, he spoke to Mamito on your phone? No. He's been trying to reach, so he told me. Just like, do a three-way call. Call, call, call Mamito and ask if you can add the guy on the line. Mm. And then if she says yes, yes. We do yeah. it. I'm a hey. word go group no live. But Chris, Arts, thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. Hey. Me pata pesa ngapi? Hapana. Imefika vizuri ngapi? Office of the governor, bro. Oh? Anyway, episode I saw. Yeah. Episode 150, we are matchers. Okay, hold. Tunaenda kulala wapi leo? Over 26. This is the Bagapo. Yes, it's the Crunch Club. Over 26. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand.